Hello, everybody. I'm Leisha Scott. Today we are here with Kavanaugh's hair. You know, guys, we are still uh, trying to find out prospects, to find out these young fighters, you know, that will be the future of the sport. So we are here with Kavanaugh. He's fighting. He's an MMA fighter. He's fighting on April 16th. So I'm glad you are here, Kavanaugh. Tell us, tell us how you doing, brother. I'm doing good. Uh, just got off training. Uh, so perfect timing, you know. Yeah. So basically, here in Little Scott MMA, we are uh, we do uh, interviews. We cover the sport, but this is in, is in Spanish. But this year, we want to you know explore also in English. the English. Yeah. So basically, you are like we we did before. We we fire to in English, but. I'm glad you're here, man. I'm glad you're here because it's, it's also practice for me. You know, I'm practicing this. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you, you take us uh, that you took the time to be here. So let's talk about the fight, your net fight. You are already okay. a professional fighter. You had like two fights, right? Yeah. You had like two, two fights, and two, two and a half, right? So yeah. you go into the to this third fight. How mm -hmm. you feeling, man? How is the experience now? Like you did this before. Like how is it? Honestly, this fight, I'm more worried about myself, my previous fights. I think I was more worried about my opponents. So I'm just going in there being the best version of myself. That's what I'm worried about. So w w when you are, like, going to a fight camp for a fight, how, mm -hmm. how is your day at day? You wake up, you go to the gym. What, what do you do in a day of your life going yeah. to a fight? So um, usually in fight camp, I'll be at the gym all day. Like I'll prep my meals, take them to the gym with me. Stay. Mm. We we uh our gym is in the mall, so it's like it's very convenient, right? Oh yeah. So I'll prep my meals, stay there all day, train, eat. We have a couch at the gym, so I'll sleep. Sometimes sleep there, wake up, train at night, and then go home. So all night. You are twenty. 20 yeah 20 so when you decide to be a MMA fighter uh honestly uh i started off boxing i was boxing boxing. When, yeah i was boxing when i was like 13 mm. and uh my dad started doing this when i was fairly young so i had to make a switch mm. you know yeah it was pretty hard at first because in boxing you're more heavy on your feet So I had yeah. to switch it up and kind of, you know, get lighter on my feet. But it was it was pretty easy. My peers around me, and I just dedicated myself to doing this. So yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so now I want to ask you, like, so how you describe yourself? You are a striker now, a grappler, a balance fighter, everything, everything, <laughs> everything. I mix it up. Um. No, nah, really, I would I would describe myself as more of a striker. I fell in love with striking uh, easily because, you know, I was a boxer mm -hmm. and I learned how to kick and I loved it. I had a, I have a couple kickboxing matches on my resume. So, yeah, I would call myself a striker. So, but you still has jiu-jitsu, right? So I saw yeah. a picture of you. So how, yeah. how was, what, what was the hard part to go in? The, the transition to going to from boxing to MMA? Like, what was the hardest thing? Like, going down or doing the kicks? What was for you the hardest thing? The hardest thing was wrestling. Wrestling. Yeah, wrestling was the hardest thing for me. But um, our head coach is Derek Brunson. So I work with him a lot. Oh, yeah, wrestling. yeah. So I'm, I'm getting it down. I'm getting it yeah, down. man. When when you join uh, Bronson MMA Fitness, right? Uh, 15, 15, 16, one of those. Wow. Yeah. H how is like to train with Derek? Uh, it's pretty cool, you know. Um, he's a black belt in jujitsu. Um, just did his jujitsu class this morning, actually. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's very heavy guy is <laughs> yeah yeah I, 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 i love how he i love how he took the pictures like this man it's just yeah so funny yeah, I, mean, i love that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah yeah he actually got some uh shirts coming out too the bad boys <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's yeah. so funny. It's so cool. let's go back when you go to the to your first MMA fight. You you was nervous. Is something like you was waiting for it always? Like, tell us about yeah. that experience. Okay. Oh, uh, my first MMA fight, right? Um, yeah. It was Amy, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. But how, how many Amy did you do? How many amateur fights you did? Just one. One. Just oh. one. Yeah. So, he was a base kickboxer. He was he was a natural kickboxer. Um, this guy named George Copa, and uh, when I went in there, um. My, of course, my boxing was better than his because I was boxing since I was a kid. Yeah. But but I didn't have it all together. Like, my kicks and stuff wasn't there. I wasn't training hard enough. I definitely see a difference now, though. You know? Mm -hmm. um, honestly, he just kind of outpointed me in that fight. It went to decision. But I could have did a lot better. And I'm a different fighter now. Mm. So then you won the the professional ones. Yes, sir. The fight, the, your first one. So it went by. I think uh, you finished both fights, first right? Finish. Yeah. First round, yeah, I saw that. So it's something that you look for every at every fight, or this? Oh, if I finish, I finish. If I go to the decision, I go to the decisions. So exactly. Oh, okay. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so when we do rounds in our gym. We're, we're just constantly, constantly working. Uh, we do five, five minute rounds. Mm. So we get to work in, you know. Um, I'm prepared to go five, five minute rounds, you know. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm, huge. I'm, I'm prepared to go in there and and go the distance every time. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. So uh, w when you start doing MMA, so your family, your father, of course, they they support you. Like, okay, you want to do this, do this. Mm -hmm. how, how was their 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 feelings about you about that decision? My mom, she's always nervous about it. Uh, she don't like to come to a lot of my fights because you know she's really nervous. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> my dad, of course, you know he yeah. kind of supports it a little bit. He uh. He did this back in his day, but he's uh he never went pro. He was always amateur, so mm. yeah. So you're fighting a uh, ultimate battleground, right? That's the yes, that's the promotion. So that will be your Terry Ben professional with them, right? Mm -hmm. So this fighter, do you know something about him? Um, what what you expect for that fight? Yeah, so he's he's going to come out southpaw. This is my first opponent that I actually fought that southpaw. Mm. Um, it's funny because a lot of the high level guys in our gym is southpaw. Yeah. We got okay. uh, we got James Brown southpaw. We got a uh, coach Austin Olympic wrestler. He's southpaw. Derek Brunson, he's southpaw. We got a uh, uh, my uncle Andre Heard. Uh, He's a professional, uh, retired fighter. He's southpaw, so mm. I got a lot of southpaw guys to just get me prepared for this fight. So basically, you are ready to it for it. Like you, you, you are the kind of fighter that wanna make predictions or like before, like okay, if we go to the decision, we go to the decision. Yeah, I finish, I finish, right? So right. You, no, no predictions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I never say never, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Right now, for this fight particularly, no predictions. No I predictions. So. I just want to go in there and fight and I'm have fine. a good time, you know? Do you, do you have any favorite fighters you follow? Uh, Yeah, I got a couple favorite fighters. Uh, Derek Brunson, you know, he's my coach, you know, I look Man, up to I, I love Derek. <laughs> yeah. I, I, he's, he's a beast. Yeah. Um. See, I'm a long fighter, so I I kind of look up to those guys too. Uh, John Jones, you know, he's a legend. Uh, what you are fight fighting fight? You high fight? Uh, you you fight ten, right? Fight ten. Yes, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty tall for my weight division, though. No. I'm yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's huge. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Wow, man. So John Jones, Derek Brunson, any other? <laughs> uh, from the top of my head, <laughs> Serial Gone, Serial Gone. Oh, man, I, I love this song, too. Uh, uh, it's okay. <laughs> I think we can we can work with that. We can work with that. Uh, Leon, Ed Leon Edwards. Leon oh, Edwards. Uh, yeah, yeah, his striking is nasty, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, he's he got great striking, too. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. Okay. So, uh, now um, I would like to ask you about your goals. What do you want to be? Like, I know it's too, still, we, you are starting, but you have any goals, any objectives you want to do as an MMA fighter? Yes, sir. Um, I want to go all the way there. I want to like go all the way there, but I want to see my options. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't, I don't just want to get to the UFC and be somewhat good. You know, I want to get there and have the potential to be a champion. So I want to take my time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I know That's what wise. I have to do. Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I just want to take my time yeah. and, any cooperation that it sets me in, uh, talk to my manager and we'll mm. go from there. What do you like most of MMA? What's the thing you like the most of this sport? The growth. I like, I like the growth and I like the part that's like, everything's on me. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it's, if it's something wrong, if I did something wrong in a fight, It's because of what I did, not because mm. what my coaches or anybody else told me. Like, I have the choice. Wow, man. I, I like that, you know, that, that think of thinking, that way of thinking. Like, because, you know, a lot of people uh, get to set a little bit with the coaches. I think the, the being in a way like you, like thinking about, okay, so me. Okay, it's a team sport, you know, at the, you have to train with them and everything, but at the end, it's just only you inside that cage, of course. It's Man, um, so anything else you want to tell the people that will look to this interview? Man, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm very excited about this fight. Um, any sponsors want to hit me up? I'm all ears. Um, and yeah, we're going to go get this dub April 16th. There you go, people. <laughs> Cabana's hair. Don't miss if I, I will put your Instagram and everything information in the description of this interview at YouTube so people can see, okay? Uh, okay. Let's go uh, support uh, Cabana's. He's a young prospect. He's a great uh, man. I, I saw you fight it on, on YouTube. Man, you finished that last fight. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you, Cabana's. See you next time, brother. Bye. See you, brother.